हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू वीडियो एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग बाय वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट 113 ऑल प्रॉब्लम्स वी हैड डिस्कस्ड द प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम आल्सो दिस वन इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच इट गो एंड वॉच इट इट वाज द करंट प्रॉब्लम व्हिच वी आर डिस्कसिंग काउंट पेयर्स विद डिस्टिंक्ट काउंट पेयर्स ऑफ पॉइंट्स विद डिस्टिंक्ट के इट्स मच इजीयर देन द प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम ऑल्दो इट इज रेटेड हार्ड लाइक हार्डर देन द हार्डर देन द प्रीवियस वन बट स्टिल इट इज इजीयर देन द प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम कूल जस्ट सेज दैट काउंट पेयर्स ऑफ पॉइंट्स विद डिस्टिंक्ट विद डिस्टेंस के जस्ट से ओके वी आर हैविंग अ 2D इंटीजर एरे कॉल्ड एज कोऑर्डिनेट्स एंड इंटीजर के वेयर द कोऑर्डिनेट्स इज एक्चुअली एक्स आई कॉमा वाई आई जस्ट अ सिंपल कोऑर्डिनेट्स व्हिच वी हैव एंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू पॉइंट्स एक्स वन कॉमा वाई वन इज एक्चुअली डिनोटेड बाय एक्स वन जोर एक्स टू प्लस वाई वन जोर वाई टू वेयर जोर इज एक्चुअली द बिटवाइज जोर ऑपरेशन व्हिच वी हैव एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट नोन आई हैव ट्रोल हंड्रेड टाइम्स प्रीवियसली आल्सो दैट जोर ऑपरेशंस एस सुन एस इट कम्स इन start thinking in the binary representation of a number where 1s or 1 is 0 0s or 0 is 0 1s or 0 is 1 0s or 1 is 1 simple start thinking i have not even read the problem and again i am saying this will not be used but still start thinking in the binary form again it is how you will start thinking all right cool I have to return the number of pairs i comma j such that first for sure i is less than j, which means if I am at a j, I need to know all the previous i's and the distance such that the distance between those i and j pairs is exactly oh. sorry equal to k. That's my condition. So now again, uh, you can see the constraints. I cannot do a O of n square algorithms to go and check for all the i. Uh, j all the i pairs again for j all the i pairs i cannot do that so when ever something like this comes in we had previously seen that we had used prefix sums to find okay the number of such sub arrays having a sum let's say x so we had seen okay what we do usually is we land on to a j and we predict what all i's would have been there let's say if i am at this particular j i can just know ha uh, if i want the k as this i want all such i's when i did i do operation like this that x1 or x2 plus 5 plus 5 or y2s that it will come out as k so standing at and i can only know okay i can only go at all these ones so i am standing at this particular j i should know what is the count of all such i's right all such i's for that the fun thing is if i am standing at k which means i am at x2 comma y2 right i am at k so if i am at x2 comma y2 right i need to know x1 comma y1 again i am putting question mark for what i don't know i will just have the operation of zor between them so it will come as x2 Zor x1, then I will just add it with the y2 zor y1 again. I know x2, I know y2 because I am at x2 y2. I don't know x1 y1 because I have to find that. But ultimately, I know also that okay, I have a k. Again, uh, you might go and start thinking about oh, Aryan, how to go and find x1 y1? Shall I try on all the possibilities of x1 y1 and then see if it pointing to k? Before that, hold on. Have you seen that how small k is? Now, if the sum of two numbers is actually k, k is actually hundred. So for sure, I can break this down to sum as zero hundred, one ninety nine, two ninety eight. Now max max hundred to zero. So for sure, the output combinations can be just hundred and one. So I can have hundred and one, and these are the combinations, output combinations which I can have, right? So if I know, okay, at any point of time, if I have a value as k, I will have the value as two. I will try on for two and k minus two, as simple as that. I will try on for one and k minus one. I'll try on for one and k minus zero, and I keep on trying for it. So let's say I, if I am at this iteration of. Hundred and one. Now, Arin, can I try for all the hundred and one for this particular x? Yeah, because as you are going on for this particular x, which means j, so you have five fifty thousand, which is five into one e four. Now, for every of those, 
J's, you can try for all these 101 combinations. Let's uh, imagine as 100. So, 1 is 2. So, 5 into 1 is 6 complexity. It will work. So, yeah, for sure it can work. So, what I will do is, I know that my output should be 2 comma k minus 2. Right? K minus 2. That should be my output. So, I know this. It should be mapped to this. It should be mapped to this. So, basically I am saying x2 zor x1 should be 2 y2 zor y1 should be k minus 2 again it is a question mark if you had not known just do a x2 zor both sides it will go it will come as x2 it will go it will come as y2 again you were able to find x1 y1 which were the question mark so by this condition you were at x2 y2 you tried on for all the 101 combinations and for every combinations you are going and finding x1 y1 and then you can just go and count the frequency of that map of x1 comma y1 and that will just give me for that particular i how many such previously are there it will give me count as three for this particular j and I can just keep on going at every element and we just keep upgrading the count. That is how without even see again, I showed you in the binary form and I told you start thinking in the binary form, but you saw binary form was never used. But still we had in mind that we will start thinking in the binary form and that's how you can simply get this problem solved. You will try for all the combinations, 101 combinations. For every combination, you can find x1, y1. Now, to know the count of such x1, y1, x1, y1 pairs previously, keep track by using a map of x1, y1 as a pair. Again, uh, what I did was I used a map of vector x1, y1. It got TLE, but when I use map of pair x1, y1, it passed. That's not good to happen, although, although for sure pair is much faster than vector, but still, that's not should happen in such time complexity because it's not evident because it's maximum into log of such operation also so it should still not happen like this but it is lead code it happens god knows why but yeah that's how it is done simply using a map to actually keep the count of such pairs previously and how to find such pairs by using a simple zor operations cool again i told you that's much 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 easier than the last question which we saw Again, it's a contest, bi-weekly contest 113, and we're discussing all four problems. Cool. Simply making a map of pair, comma, int, comma, int, right? Uh, simply having an answer. Uh, again, going on to all the coordinates. For every coordinates, I am finding my, although I have written x1, y1, so like you can just imagine as x2, y2. So basically, I am just assuming, okay, I have x1, y1, and I will find x2, y2. So vice versa of what I showed in the explanation, I have x1, y1, I'm going, so basically I, just saying I have one coordinate, I'll find other coordinate. I have x1, y1, I'll go and find for all the k's, which is, which can at max go to 101 combinations. So for all the combinations of 0 to k, I'll just go and find x2, y2, showed you above also, i n, x i, x, uh, i n, k minus i. When I have found those x2, y2, again, I'll just go and say for that particular ith, how many such previous x2, y2s are there. Just simply give me my answer and do it for all the i's, which means all the coordinates and simply get the total answer. And for sure, as you have done with this coordinate, please increase its count because that will be used by the next coordinate, whatsoever is coming up. And that's how you can simply solve this in your code. Cool. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.